Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to our free online courses. And today's course is a continued courses from Civil 3D for Pipe Networks. So here I already have my project. So today I will show you we were creating the pipe network from object. So I open my sample project from Civil 3D pipe network 1A, which it already have the surface and alignment and also the corridors. So if I zoom in here, I can find this is the polyline that we created using the basics AutoCAD command polyline, and I will change this polyline to pipe network. So to do that, you need to go to home tab, and then you go to this create design panel, and you click this drop down for pipe network. From here, you can find there as a few tools for you to creating pipe network. And today I will show you on the pipe network from object. So I will click this create pipe network from object. And now Civil Trading want me to select the object that I want to create the pipe network, which is this the blue, which is in this blue polyline. I want to click on this one. And then once I click on the polyline, so you will find this is the flow direction of the pipe network. It will start from here and then the direction of my pipe network will end at this station. Let's say you don't want this direction, you want it to be reversed. Just click on this reverse step under this flow direction and that it will change the flow direction for your pipe network. I want, I want to reverse it. And then if you satisfied with the flow direction, you just click on enter. After you click on enter, this create part network from object dialog box will pop up. And from here, you will do the setting for the part network. The first one, you can change the name. For example, I will change this one to storm, storm, sewer network. And from here, you can find there is network part list. So if I click this drop down, you can find there, is, there are two more part lists that you can use, which is the sanitary sewer and also the standard sewer. So I'm going to use the storm sewer. And from here, you can also specify the pipe diameter that you want to create. If I click this drop down, you will find there are a few more sizes of pipe that you can use. Let's say I want to use this 600 mm RPC. And then for the structure to create, structure in Civil 3D, uh, which means it, uh, its main hole. Okay, for the structure, I click the drop down here. You can find there's a few more structure type that you can use. And then for example, I want to use this con concrete cylindrical structure CI, LSI. I want to use this 2300 diameter. And from the surface name, I want to change this one to first street. This one is brief, uh, this one is depend on your requirement. You want to use any of your surface name. And then for the alignment, I will use the alignment that I created uh, uh, on this polyline, for this polyline. So these uh, alignment are first street alignment, and then I'm going to use the first street. And from here, I will click on this erase existing entities, which means it will change my polyline to a pipe network. So if you don't erase the existing entities, it will not uh, change your polyline. It will create another one, another uh, pipe network on your polyline. It will not change it. So I click on erase existing entities, and then I click on OK. 
So once you click on OK, your polyline just now will be changed to a pipe network. You can see the properties there. This one is pipe number one, style double line storm, layer C dash STRM, and the size is 900, 600, uh, 600 meter, 0 0.600 meter. Same goes to this structure. It will be uh, the set, it will be the same as your setting in your dialog box just now. And the structure will be created on every vertex of your polyline. And from between the structure, it will create a pipe network. Okay, let's say I want to create this uh, pipe network. I want to disable it in my profile view here. You can find this is my first street profile view and that I cannot see yet my pipe network. So I want to see my pipe network located here. So you can click on this structure and also this pipe. I want to transfer, I want to disable, I want to enable it in my profile view. I right click and I select similar, which means it will select all of my pipe network here. And then I bring my cursor to this one, to this profile. I right click while it's still selecting my pipe and my structure. And then I click on this draw parts in profile view. I click on this one and Civil 3D want me to select the profile view, which, which is this one. I click on this one. And then you can find this blue color piping will be shown in my profile view. Okay, so from here, you can change the interval uh, elevation. For example, you want your piping here to be higher or you want to piping to be lower. You can change it by manually or you can change it by, uh, you insert the, there's the exact value. Okay, from here, you just click on the pipe and then you will find there is a grip button there. Okay, from this grip button, you can just manually click on this grip and bring it upward. So it will change the invert elevation. Let's say you have the specific value for the elevation. So you can, what you can do, you right click and you go to this edit network. Okay, from this edit network, you will find there is network layout tool will pop up. This is, will be the same as the previous uh, network setting uh, that you set the first, uh, the first one, okay? It will be the same. And then, for you to change the interval uh, in sorry interval elevation value you need to go this pipe network vistas okay you can find the circle with a pencil there click on that one and from here this is the panorama for the list down of your structure and your pipes okay you can find there is pipe tabs and also structure tabs Let's see, I want to change the start interval for this pipe. So I click on this pipe. I'm focusing on this pipe number one. Okay. Or pipe number seven, it's up to you. Any pipe you want to change the start invert elevation. So I want to change this uh, pipe. And then I click on this uh, start invert elevation and I in enter the specified elevation that I want for pipe number one. Maybe I in in insert the 45 meter value for the start elevation for pipe number one. And then I click enter and I click finish up here. Finish again. 
And if I bring my cursor to this part number one here, I right click. Sorry, I click one. I click the part there. I close on this one first. I right click and I go to the properties for for this part number one. Properties, and then I will find. This one. And then from here, you will find that the start elevation just now are changing to the exact value that I changed in the pipe network vistas. Start invert will be 50, uh, 45 meter. Okay. So that is how you creating pipe network from object in Civil 3D. So see you in our next free online courses and thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.